Ah, yes, hello everyone, and welcome to my weekly recap. After my sixth place finish in the CCF circuit last week, I was promoted and now playing in the CCE at the Blue Moon Invitational at Kentuck Knob. This week would end up being quite the wild ride. For the first round of the week, I had this nice putt on three, as well as birdies on the two early par fives on two and five. By the seventh hole, I was three under for the round, and that's when things really started. Seven would start a birdie train of 10 straight birdies, by far my longest streak I've ever had. It seemed like every shot I was hitting was a perfect, perfect, no little tail offs on my swing path to make it a smidge left or smidge right. For the most part, it was all dead straight and I had that dialed in accuracy. Even when it wasn't super, super close, you know, those for the tap-ins, I was just rolling my putts as well. These 10 birdies would help cap off my first round score of 59 for 13 under par, my best score ever on TGC. On the second round, I would continue some of that momentum early with a couple of nice approaches here on three and four. I would be three under by the sixth hole and then use the ridge nicely here to give myself another birdie. Even though I was at a better pace than I was on round one through six holes, I would give some strokes back with bogeys on seven and nine. I would go on to have five birdies on the easy back nine and finish at eight under for the day. Day three, I seem to bounce back a little bit more. Right off the bat, I would birdie the difficult par four first hole. I took advantage of the three par fives on the front to start four under, and then the back is where I really turned it on again. This time, I would finish the round with seven straight birdies from holes 12 through 18 to cap off a third round of 11 under par. Playing real well for the fourth week in a row now, I would find myself two shots off the leader going into the final round. I was at 32 under for the tournament. Boy, would things change on the final round. Going into five, I was only one under on the round, which wasn't great to start. However, this round was the first time I was able to reach this par five green in two. Knowing I would need to shoot pretty low to have a chance at winning, I tried going for the eagle rather than playing it safe and taking a different line to make for an easy two putt birdie. Still at one under, salvaging the round going into seven uh, with the back nine uh, still yet to play, figured I had a chance, but this is really where it fell off the rails. I left myself in a bad spot with a poor chip missing not one but two putts and ending up with a double bogey. 
After that, these very fast and firm greens were not done punishing me. The 11th hole would be another fun one. Accidentally tapping this one a smidge too hard put me right back into the fairway and led to an in inevitable double bogey yet again. Overall, I would finish at plus two for the round, nowhere even close to what I was hoping for going into it. Despite that, I have to be happy overall with my tournament play for the entire week as a whole, uh, just being promoted to this circuit just last week. We'll see if I get the bump again after finishing tied for 32 in this week's tournament. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please be sure to check out my course preview video as well, where I preview the Desert Sands Golf Club for next week, and tune into my live round coverage on my Twitch channels, uh, usually weeknights, Monday through Thursday, around 6 to 9 Eastern Time. Until next time, ciao.